Hello everyone, welcome to Glory Talk. Today is June 22, 2024. Welcome. So I have something here for you from God. I just wanna get this out to you. Uh, it's real nice, it's really, it's really, it's really cool. Um, I'm going to pray this in for you, for all of us. Yeah, let's pray this in. Lord, 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 thank you for everything you've done. You are worthy to be praised. Bless your holy name. Praise you. We worship you. We love you. We adore you. Hallowed be thy name. Praise you, Father. Lift you up. You are the awesome God. You are the ultimate God. You are everything. Lord, I just ask that you come in and do your work. I ask that you come in and open up everyone's minds and hearts and souls to hear what you have to say, to put it into our lives and to apply it into our lives, to know who you are, to know how you're coming in, to know what you're going to do in our lives. Praise God. And Lord, I just pray that, <clears throat> that we become the people you want us to be, that we know our authority in you and how wonderfully made we are in you. Mm. Just like your word says, and Lord, I ask that we, we house you, we have less of us and more of you, and so we can bring your glory in, so we can house your glory into our lives. We can display you mm. for your kingdom and your power and your glory, in Jesus' name. All right. Praise God. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. So, uh. I am just going to wait on the Holy Spirit just a little bit. I'm going to talk a little bit and just wait for him to see what he wants to do here. There's something up. I can feel that uh, and sense that something's going on here. This is a really nice little uh, reminder of what he told us we are in him. And I wanted to get this out to you, babe. And if, and if you haven't um, viewed before, I hear from God and I write down everything he tells me. And so... It's a gift he's given me, and so it just pops in my head, and I just write it down. And so I'm just getting this out to you. All right. I'll go ahead and start this. <clears throat> okay, so he told me this on May 17, 2024, and I wanted to get this out to you. This says, and this is what he said, I want you to know how wonderfully you are. And let me repeat that. I want to, I want, mm, let me get this right. I want you to know how wonderful you are, perfectly made. He said, you were made in my image. A glimpse into a heavenly existence with me. A view into the eternal life I am giving you. He said, watch and see, you are created by me. Full of my perfect love, surrendered to me. And I love this part. He said, this is you, how I view you, perfectly made for all to see, the glory to bestow upon thee. And that's beautiful. And I love that. He'll, he'll, he'll remind us of things like, uh, he'll speak it in King James Version type things, you know. And um, I just love that about him. Um, and I'll repeat that last part. It's really cool. <clears throat> <clears throat> he said, this is you, how I view you, perfectly made for all to see, the glory to bestow upon thee. To house the glory, to bestow the glory. Whew. Oh. Okay, so I've got some, got some scripture for all this. And yes, I'm feeling led to do this. All right, so in Genesis 1, in 26 and 27, this is where it talks about God created man in his own image, male and female, reflecting his character and his nature. And as far as I can tell, I, I'm just going to mention that. You can look that one up. That's in the Word. Go ahead. And then it says also in Psalms 139, 14, it talks about how we are fearfully and wonderfully made, created in God's image, and, a, and we're unique. You and me, we're unique and a complex creation. Um, it's like we're an intricate design 
of all his wonderful works of him. And we're not just randomly or accidentally created, you know, but we were carefully crafted by God, you know, and for his purpose. And um, that is so important, you guys. That is so important. We're not a mistake. We're just not something random, you know. He had specific... Yeah, I love this. He, and this is what he, he was telling me. He said, we have specifically been designed and with wonderful works of him. To emphasize that we're not random. We're not accidental. We are carefully crafted by God for a purpose. Look that scripture up. It's really cool how it talks about, um, I'll let you do Yeah, I'll let you look that one up. All right. Okay, so that's how wonderfully we were made. I just love that because we're not an accident. And we're going to house God's glory. So when we do that, we're going to behold his character. You know, we're going to behold him, his glory. And um, it says in, oh, I want to share 2 Corinthians 3.18. It's where we will behold the glory of the Lord and we are transfor transformed into his image and we're becoming more like him. And I, yes, I'm feeling led to read this one. I'm going to read this one. All right, so in 2 Corinthians 3.18, this is the Amplified Version. Here we go. And we all, with unveiled face, continually seeing as in a mirror the glory of the Lord, are progressively being transformed into his image from one degree of glory to even more glory which comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. Praise God, that's good. Whew. That's one of my favorites there, by the way, from glory to glory. Man, he's been mentioning a lot to me lately. From We're going to go from glory to glory. It's going to be... Okay, yeah, I'm going to share this. God keeps telling me we're going to be going from one glory to another, from glory to glory, just like the days of Noah when all the the... The water was flooding the earth. It even says in the word, we're going to go from one glory to another. So we're going to be housed even more glory than that. We're going to have more glory on the earth, even more than the days of Noah. I mean, that's going to be amazing. Look that up. That's in the word too. Praise God. I'm going to keep going. And it says here in 2 Peter 1, 3 through 4, and... This is where we can participate in the divine nature of God. It talks about, you know, escaping the corruption of the world, and we're going to behold his glory and his goodness. And so I love that one too. Go ahead and look that one up. And then um, this also talks about in Romans 8, 29 through 30. Oh, yes, we're being, so, so God's ultimate design, and this is about Jesus. God's ultimate design is to conform us to the image of his son, Jesus Christ, and which is a reflection of God's glory. Amen. Praise God, that's a good one. Ooh, I don't know, Lord, should we read that one? Let's, let's go ahead and do this next one. I like this next one too, because it says in Hebrews 1, 3, this is where Jesus Christ is the radiance of God's glory and how he sustains all things by his, his word, his powerful word. And because we're going to start displaying him, which we already are. We're displaying him when we ask him into our lives, when we believe in him, when we follow him. And so it also talks about the Shekinah glory, the presence of God. I just thought that was really cool. Just, just, yeah, Shekinah. And so um, I'm going to go back. I feel like I need to go back to... Yeah, let's go back to Romans. I'm going to go back to Romans 8. I'm going to share that with you. It's really important that we really get into the Word, you know, and really get the Word into us so we don't 
fall for all the junk out there in the world. And so uh, in Romans 8, and this is 29.30. This is the Amplified Version. Oh, this is good. It says, For those whom he foreknew, he loved and chose beforehand, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son. Look how it says this. Foreknew. Predestined. There you go. Look at that. Man. Let's read that again. For those whom he foreknew and loved and chose beforehand, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his son and ultimately share in his complete sanctification so that he would be the firstborn, the most beloved and honored among many believers. And then in 20, let's see, this is 30. It says, and those whom he predestined, he also called and those whom he called he also justified, declared free of the guilt of sin. And those whom he justified, he also glorified, raising them to a heavenly dignity. Wow. Praise God. Look how important this is. Wow. All right. Lord, oh, I'm feeling led here. Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord Jesus. The Holy Spirit. God. So remember, we're being conformed to his image because God sent his son, Jesus Christ, so we can become more like him. He was displaying the glory. Praise God. A reflection of his glory, a reflection of God's glory. And that's what we're going to be like him. Oh, my goodness. We're displaying Jesus. That's how we can get there. Yep, here we go. Amen. So remember, God sent his son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins, to be the way to get to heaven. He is the only way to get to heaven. It says that in the word. That is our ultimate goal. That is how we're going to house the glory. We have to ask Jesus into our lives. We have to believe in him, and we have to follow him in order, in order to what? Be filled with God's glory. Praise God. We're going to be like God. We're going to be with his glory and his character in us. Just like Jesus. Jesus made the way for us. Do you want to know Jesus? Ask him into your life. Say, Jesus, come into my life. I believe in you. I want to follow you. Amen. And that's how easy it is. And you know, he wants us to live a repentance lifestyle. So... We can always come under his righteousness, to come under the price that Jesus paid for us. Because Jesus died on that cross, he carried all our sin in his body, so he carried all our sin in his body on the cross. So we what? Die to sin and live for righteousness. Look that up, that's in the word. So we repent and we ask Jesus, forgive us, Lord, for sinning. Forgive us, we repent. And that's all you gotta say and please wash away my sin. And that's all you have to say. And now you've been cleansed. You're gonna live a repentance lifestyle. So you get into the word, you start praying to him, you start acknowledging him, and you start living that wonderful life with him. That's how it is. He is the only way to God. Amen. So, remember to keep repenting as you go. Keep lining up with him. Get into prayer. Get to petition with him. Start talking to him. Start getting that conversation going with him. And you know what? He's going to make it to where you can just follow him. And you can just keep going there and believing his word is going to be what it is. Because he said he's going to finish his word. He's going to complete his word. And the Lord, God Almighty, mm, he said he's going to complete it. And it's going to be everything he wants it to be. It's going to be completed. Amen. So until then, I think we're done. Lord, what do you think? All right. 
So remember, this is, this is cool. You are wonderfully and perfectly made, just like the scripture said. And you're going to house God's glory. Praise God. Wow. We're going to be perfectly made to house the glory. Praise God. All right. So until next time, you guys, remember to follow Christ. Remember to pray. Remember to talk to him. Just keep the conversation going. Keep going after the word. Keep going after Jesus. Keep going after what the Holy Spirit's doing. Learn how he's talking to you. Keep going there. Put in the time. Put in the effort. And you will get to know him. All right. Until next time, you guys, have a good day. Oh, and I want to leave a little blessing to you. I love this. There was a blessing, and I love this, in 2 Peter 1, verse 2. It talks about this. You know, it just says it just the way it is. And I'm going to go ahead and just read this to you and then release a blessing to you like that. So it says, grace and peace, that special sense of spiritual well-being. Okay, Lord. Thank you, Father. He's showing up. Whew, thank you, Lord. Grace and peace, that special sense of spiritual well-being, be multiplied to you in the true, intimate knowledge of God and of Jesus, our Lord. So I'm going to release this blessing to you. And remember, you can do this to anyone, everyone. And you can speak it over everyone's life. You can speak the God's word over every situation and every body. It's just the way it is. So this is what you do. You say, may the grace, and I'll release this blessing to you, may the grace and peace, that special sense of spiritual well-being, be multiplied to you in the true intimate knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. Whew, I felt that go out. Praise God. So I'm going to say it again and receive that. Say, I receive that blessing May the grace and peace, that special sense of spiritual well-being, be multiplied to you in the true intimate knowledge of God and of Jesus our Lord. I release that to you and say, I receive it in Jesus' name, and you will get it and believe it for God's kingdom and his power and his glory. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, so I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.